Uh, Decathlon is one of the largest retailers of sports goods uh, in the world. The adventure started not so far from here in 1976 uh, and look here we are, we are now in uh, around 70 countries uh, all over the world. So I'm Julien Guillain, leader of additive manufacturing in Decathlon, in the AdLab project. So we started this adventure uh, with additive manufacturing through our lab since uh, around seven years now. But we used since the beginning of additive manufacturing uh, history for prototyping, of course, but not only. If we uh, invest on these technologies uh, here, it's also for other purposes, to win time, to win non-quality cost, to uh, save some products and go faster for small series. I'm Arnaud Cosson and I'm digital engineer for the AdLab Decathlon and I'm in charge of all the software for the team and for our customers. From a Decathlon perspective, additive manufacturing will allow us to produce on-demand parts where we need it. So it's kind of uh, think uh, a better uh, supply chain and also to produce on-demand customized parts and lots of opportunity for new design and for new product uh, innovations. My vision for an ecosystem is to have all the software that can communicate together, uh, to have the data coming across the different systems and to have a seamless experience for our customers and also for our uh, team members uh, that works on a daily basis with the software. I'm Lorenzo Civaia and I'm a technical consultant at AMFG. As AMFG, the goals that Decathlon needed to achieve were clear since day one. They had different systems from different orders and they couldn't map out the full traceability along the process. So what we needed to provide was an end-to-end -end workflow solution that would not only centralize all of their workflow into one system, but also additionally automate all of these recurring tasks that you're often faced with in manufacturing. AMFG uh, was really interesting for us because of the automation. Software is here to save us time and we need to be as productive as possible. So the automation available in AMFG lets us have uh, improvement on productivity, which is really interesting for us. I'm Eleanor, uh, my position within AMFG is I am business development manager. Uh, so my role is to develop new partnerships uh, with companies who want to scale their additive manufacturing activity. We have a great relationship with uh, the Catlin. Um, we tend to see our partnership as a collaboration rather than just a client provider uh, roles. And we work hand to hand in order to achieve our common goals, automation. And we make sure we deliver the, the best solution for them by acting as a consultant. They are the biggest sports retailer in the world. As you can see, we are in one of their shops uh, and yeah, we want to make sure we help them to achieve their goals. For in the future, um, I, many things could be changed through additive manufacturing. Customization will be part of locally production in the, in the only quantity you're going to need locally will be the other step. And through automation, we're going to also win efficiency and, and decrease the cost per parts. That's, in my point of view, with also chemistry and the material we're going to need to transform the game and more durable products, more sustainable process, it will be the, the next challenge for additive manufacturing.